Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode 17 of I Create Content. All right, I appreciate everyone being here. It's Wednesday. Before I jump into today's tutorial, I just want to take a moment. Um, my brother-in-law had a uh, actually had two mild strokes, so I would ask for your prayers, uh, positive thoughts, happy vibes, uh, anything that you can send uh, to his family. Um, uh, I certainly would appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to do tutorials today, but obviously it's it's kind of a somber. Um, afternoon. So uh, if you call my tutorial on Monday, you know that we were talking about Lightroom and I showed you a quick tip related to using the adjustment brush and overall adjustments inside of Lightroom's develop module. Today I'm going to respond to a viewer request. So this goes out to Dion in South Africa. Hey, how you doing? And uh, he wanted to know how you could blend faces for group portraits using the auto align feature and layer masks inside of Photoshop. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration of that. Let's go ahead and jump in. You can see on the screen in front of you, I just really stepped out into the studio. I didn't have a group today, <laughs> so I just took a couple quick pictures of myself, right? What I'm going to do is grab the move tool. I've got two different images here. So one where I'm not blinking, one where I'm obviously blinking. I'm going to grab the move tool, just drag the one photo into the other, and I'm going to purposely just offset the photo. So here I am side by side. Isn't that fun? Give me a second to zoom in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just zoom this for you so that we can see a little better. And what I'm going to do is use my selection tool. I'm going to highlight both layers by using the shift key. Then I'm going to go to the edit menu and choose auto align layers. Now, when this dialog com box comes up, I'm just going to leave it with the auto function. I'm not worried about a vignette. I'm not worried about geometric distortion. And I'm not going to choose these other options because they really right now they don't apply. The auto function is going to work fine. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. It'll take a second to arrange the picture. Picture is now auto aligned. Now, if I take a second and I'll just hide layer one, you can see there's my smiling face underneath. Hey, here I am. Notice as I turn this on and off, see how I move, but the box does not. Okay. So this is how you use it for a group portrait. If you have a group portrait and some people blinked and other people didn't, some people made faces, so on and so forth, the background really isn't going to change. So my suggestion for those instances where you're doing group portraits, if your camera has a burst mode, if it'll let you shoot continuous frame, snap off a couple pictures, right? Have the group hold still, snap off a couple pictures, have them hold still, snap off another set. So here's how I fix the eyes in the portrait. I'll go to the top layer. This is the one where my eyes are closed and I'm going to add a layer mask. So remember the layer mask is down at the bottom of the layers panel. And when we add the layer mask, by default, it is white. Remember, white reveals the layer. So white is revealing layer one where my eyes are shut. I just simply need to grab my brush tool and paint with black. So set the foreground color to black. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see better. Make a smaller brush and I'll just paint on the mask. And there are my eyes. Right. So just like that, I'll go ahead and zoom out. Uh, you've got your fixed picture. Now, let me show you another trick still using the auto align feature. Uh, you can go ahead and either Google or look on Flickr for the word multiplicity. And this is a technique to have multiple instances of objects or even people in frames in a single shot. So let me grab a different image. And I want you to see in this picture, I have three layers. So the bottom layer is a picture of myself. Then the layer one is a picture without me. And I've moved the little crocodile. So if you take a look here hey, in the background layer, here's my daughter's favorite little baby crocodile. In layer one, I'm out of the frame and I've moved the crocodile to the top of the coffee pot. And in layer two, 
Once again, I moved the crocodile, I'm out of the frame. So I'm going to make three instances of the crocodile in a single shot. I'm going to use the exact same technique. I'll grab the shift key, select all layers, go to the edit menu, choose auto align because the background did not move in the frame. Once again, choose auto. Don't need to worry about vignette or distortion. Click OK. And all three of those photographs will get aligned. So here they are. They're aligned. If I start turning them on, there's me in the frame. There's the crocodile that's moved to the top of the coffee pot. There's the crocodile moved to the front of the coffee pot. All I have to do now is add layer masks. So I'll go to layer one. And this time, when I add the layer mask, I'm going to hold the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC because this will add a black mask. So white reveals the layer, black conceals it. Right now, you can't see layer one. All I want to paint in is just the crocodile on the top of the coffee pot. So I'll grab my brush tool. I'll go ahead and paint with white as the foreground color. I know that the crocodile is right about here in the frame. And watch as I make the crocodile appear. Okay, so I'm just painting. And there's the crocodile appears right on the top of the coffee pot. Okay, just like that. So I can go ahead and turn on layer two. Do the exact same thing. Add a layer mask by holding the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC. I get a black mask. Now all I need to do is just grab my brush. The crocodile was down here in front of the coffee pot. Once again, go and paint them in. And now I've got three instances of a crazy baby crocodile and myself in the same frame. Certainly I could go and crop this image, but that's a way that you can use the auto align layers for group shots and layer masking to combine multiple photos together. So once again, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, please uh, remember my brother-in-law in your thoughts, your prayers, positive vibes. Um, I know his family's going through a tough time and gosh, you know, it just uh, makes us all, uh, makes everyone think about their own mortality. So um, keep them in your thoughts, really. I appreciate it. Um, if you enjoy what I do, uh, I give you a pitch. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I know it's a somber video today, but thumbs up my videos and please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you really enjoy what I do and keep those questions coming, okay? You can connect to me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. You can leave comments here on the YouTube channel and you can always catch me on my blog. So I'm AJ Wood. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys on Friday.